In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. There is emphasis in the Bible on how well do we listen. So actually the Lord Jesus Christ repeated this verse, He who has ears to hear, let him hear. This verse was repeated several times in the scripture. For example, after the Lord spoke about St. John the Baptist, he concluded this passage by saying, He who has ear to hear, let him hear. Also, after he explained the parable of Tars and the parable of the sower, he concluded the explanation by saying, He who has ears to hear, let him hear. In the book of Revelation, the Lord actually sent the messages to the seven churches. And each message was concluded by the same verse, He who has ear to hear, let him hear. Not only that, but the two times in which God the Father spoke about his Son, Jesus Christ, when he said, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased, hear him. So he instructed us clearly, hear him. I'm sure you know these two times in which the Lord said, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased, hear him. These two times are? Baptism, baptism and? Transfiguration. 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 Exactly. In baptism and transfiguration. So hear him, uh, let him hear. Uh, it's repeated several times in the Bible. That's why I'd like to speak with you tonight on how well do we listen? How well do we listen? The Bible spoke about three types of listeners. Three types of listeners. The first type we read about it in Hebrews chapter 5 verse 11. So if you turn your Bibles to Hebrew 5 verse 11. Matthew, would you please read Hebrew 5.11? Dull of hearing. Dull of hearing. So actually, St. Paul is saying, of whom? About the Lord Jesus Christ. We have much to say. We have many, many things to say about the Lord Jesus Christ. But hard to explain. Why it is hard to explain? Is it because the teacher is not eloquent? Certainly not, because St. Paul is the philosopher of Christianity. He's a very eloquent teacher. Why it is hard to explain, St. Paul diagnosed their spiritual disease. He said, because or since you have become dull of hearing. Dull of hearing. Dull of hearing means what? As if their, their hearing is heavy. So they cannot hear well. If you are a teacher and explaining a very simple math problem to a person whose hearing is not well, is dull, actually you will find it is very hard to explain. So the problem of the people in Hebrews, their spiritual hearing was dull. This problem did not face St. Paul only, but the problem faced our Lord Jesus Christ also. If you turn your Bible to Matthew chapter 13, from verse 13 to 15, the disciples were asking the Lord Jesus Christ, why do you speak to the people with parables? Why you don't speak to them plainly? without using parables. And he answered them, hmm? we like to read from uh, Matthew 13, starting from verse 13. Therefore I speak to them in parables, because seeing they do not see, and hearing they do not hear, nor do they understand. And in them the prophecy of Isaiah is fulfilled, which says, hearing you will hear and shall not understand, and seeing you will see and not perceive. perceive. 
for the harsh of for the harsh of this people have grown dull their ears are hard of hearing and their eyes they have closed lest they should see with their eyes and hear with their ears lest they should understand with their hearts and turn so that I should heal them so actually the Lord told them I speak to them in parables because seeing the, they do not see and hearing they do not hear maybe they see by their arts but they cannot perceive maybe they hear but they do not understand and actually the Lord diagnosed why they have dull hearing why they have uh, they cannot perceive the answer is in verse 15 why the people had dull hearing according to the verse 15 verse 15 why for the hearts of this people have grown dull so actually the lord jesus christ said dull hearing start where in the heart so dull hearts dull heart actually leads to dull hearing. I will give you some example to understand what do I mean by dull hearing and dull heart. But there are many reasons for uh, dull heart, the dullness of heart. Uh, I will speak about four reasons and I will give you examples how the dull heart leads to dull hearing. The first reason, love of sin. Love of sin. Second reason is materialism. Third reason is lack of love or hatred. And the last reason is drifting away from God or what we call lukewarmness lukewarmness love of sin the best example is Samson I'm sure you know the story of Samson because his heart was dull that's why he couldn't hear what Delilah said to him actually Delilah did not trick him she told him very clearly, tell me the reason behind your strength. Because I want to deliver you to the Palestines to torture you. She, she made very clear her plan. And actually three times Simpson lies to her. He didn't tell her the truth. And what did she do? She actually delivered him to the Palestines to torture him. But because Simpson didn't say the truth, they were not able to defeat Simpson. And I wondered for a long time how Simpson, who was very wise, who was judge for Israel for 20 years, how a wise man like Simpson goes and say the, his whole heart to Delilah. Didn't he hear what she said to him? She told him, tell me the reason behind your strength so I can deliver you to the Palestinians to torture you. The message is very clear. But the love of sin made his heart dull. He became blind. And because of this blindness, he did not listen. He did not, he heard her, but he did not perceive as the Lord said. You will see, but you cannot perceive. You will hear, but you don't understand. And that's why he told her the truth. And what happened after he told her the truth? She delivered him to the Palestinians and they tortured him. Many times when the love of sin start to grow in my heart, I, I, I cannot listen well. For example, the youth who do drugs or you know, in, in unlawful relationship, the church, their parents, their godly friends, go to them and tell, uh, tell them, this is wrong. You cannot continue this way. You need to change your life. This will destroy your, your life. 
but they don't listen. They hear, but they don't listen. Why? Because of love of sin. Love of sin. So if you want to listen well, then actually we should not have dull hearts. We should get rid of the loved sin. Because there are some sins are very close to our hearts. We are not willing to give them up. But if we don't give these sins up, if we don't repent, this will affect our healing. That's the first example. The second example, I told you the reasons is love of sin. Second reason is materialism, love of money. And the best example in the love of money is the example of one of the twelve. Judas is carried. The Lord told him very clearly, and he warned him several times, Woe to this man. It was better for him if he was not born. But he didn't listen. The Lord said, He who dips his hand with me in the plate is the one who betrays me. Even when the Lord uh, uh, Judas betrayed him and, and delivered him to the Roman soldiers, the Lord told him, Judas, are you delivering the son of man with a kiss? But where his mind came, the love of money blinded him and made his hearing dull. He did not listen to the words of the Lord Jesus Christ. And another example is the example of the rich man. The rich man knew the commandments. When the Lord told him, do you know the commandments? He told them, I have kept them since my youth. He knew the commandments. But the Lord told him, go sell all what you have, give it to the poor, follow me. Hatred, envy, lack of love. If I discover that my heart is dull, what should I do? The main reason, he wants to turn away from the people.